hello beautiful people good morning good afternoon depending on your time zone wherever you are i greet you all if you are new here welcome please subscribe share and comment please i beg and if you are the returning subscriber thank you so much for coming along to visit the channel thank you for visiting every day thank you for your support I don't take it for 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 granted but uh i just love you for the good job for your support and for everything that you are doing thank you so much thank you so much thank you so much thank you so much so today the topic today we are going to talk it's about um it's not a topic but some some good advices for us ladies for the ladies even for some men too <laughs> even for men not only ladies hmm? not la not even not only ladies even for men it do works so i welcome you all welcome welcome so number one Let's go and see about uh, mm. these are uh, some rules. We're going to see some rules for us in life that we have to the rules that we have to live with it so that um in life we we got some good challenges and bad challenges but uh, we have to face them regardless so let's see some rules for our lives and uh, God will help us so number one let us see the first rule let us see the rule number one it goes by the Never go back to the man or the woman who cheated unless she or he is your husband. She or she, she or he was your husband. Hmm? Yeah. Why will you go back to the man or the woman who cheated while you are dating? Hmm? I mean, the when you are not married why would you go back to the man or the lady because she or he has shown you the real true color of who or she is if you marry her or him they will end up cheating regardless in the marriage so unless he was married or she was married to you and you feel like we forgive yeah the bible tells us to forgive 77 times seven times so that is numberless yani unasamea unasamea kutoka ndani ya moyo wako unasamea tu no matter what you just forgive hmm? and you correct your mistakes and you go back to the normal life the way you lived and correct the life correct the mistakes so number 2 Never let a man or a woman disrespect you. Yeah. Why would you let a man or a woman disrespect you? Why? It's not fair. It's not fair to let somebody just disrespect you while you are there seated watching. You have to stand. You stand regardless. Stand. Stand on your feet and defend yourself no matter what. Okay? So... Number two is never let a man or a woman disrespect you. Number three, never go broke to impress others. Yeah. Why would you go broke to impress others? That's not fair. Hmm? This life has its, own, has its own ups and downs. So, you just got to live your life a normal life. No, don't go broke to impress people. You have 
you have no right to impress people if you don't have just say i don't have let people know you don't have if you have little let people know you have that little if you have plenty so be it let people know it but don't go broke to impress others it's not fair and it's not even good hmm? nowadays people live life of fake life they live fake life very fake life but after that when you see the fake life in the social medias people go for what they don't have go for what they want but not what they need hmm? so never go broke to impress others that's rule number three number four rule number four rule number four rule number four goes by never shake hand while sitting down mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. that's good it's better it's fine yeah never shake hands while sitting down because you never know he or she is an enemy the time you are seated down and you give your hand for shaking, something can happen. Hmm? Maybe he or she takes you by that hand and hits you back, you see. For those who normally watch like wrestling, hmm? you normally see the shake of hands while the, there is wrestling in the in the wrestling time or mm, normally see the shaking time while uh, the other one is giving the hand to be shaken and boom something nasty happens after that so you never know it's an enemy it's a friend he has what intentions she or he has in the heart while you are seated while you are greeting the person so rule number four never shake hand while sitting down number five rule number five our number five is always have the ambition to be better yeah. you have to, to, be, to you have to have the ambition to be better this life look at the life now if you don't if you don't want to be better what how will you cope how will you be how will you live hmm? no matter what just have the ambition to be better even it if even if it's a small job that you earn less go for it go for it go for it and live a better life rather than rather than sitting there and you start borrowing from people Please assist, please I don't, you know, give me, it's not better. So, rule number five, always have the ambition to be better. Rule number six, protect who is behind you and respect who is beside you. Hello? Yeah. <laughs> That's a fact. Hmm? Protect who is behind you and respect who is beside you that's good and that's a good good rule so it doesn't matter she's a child she's an old man a woman a man or just protect who is behind you and respect who is beside you okay that's good it's not fair to it's not fair to just be like that it's maybe something is coming behind you and uh, you could uh, avoid it for the other person you see that helps so much and uh, it creates so respect so much appreciation hmm? respect who is beside you while this person is seated beside you yeah you have to respect them regardless mm -hmm. he may it be a child an old man just respect respect it's it costs nothing it costs costs nothing so protect and protect and respect rule number seven never eat the last piece of something 
you didn't buy <laughs> sure sure never eat something you didn't you never eat the last piece of something you didn't buy yeah that's not good it sounds don't it sounds awkward even <laughs> it's not better hmm? it's not good never eat the last piece you, you, you didn't buy hmm. okay number eight let's go let's go number eight don't beg for a relationship hello don't go and be begging back for a relationship if a person leaves you today just accept the mistakes accept the situation how it is and go live your life god will open another doors for you you will find another relationship and you will move on god will help you to move on you don't know why the person left you or leave you for something else or for another person that things happen hmm? things happen so if something like that happens don't go back begging for the relationship you don't know what god has managed has make you to manage ex escape from that relationship maybe it couldn't lead to a marriage or a good relationship hmm? maybe maybe if you were to get married the person would have cheated you with another person or with another woman you know so if the relationship broke don't go back begging for the relationship that sounds so awkward it's even it's not good so yeah no matter what don't go back begging for relationship god will find another person for you he will open the doors for you and life will go on thank you so number nine number nine we are going to continue we have some few left number nine number nine <laughs> number nine take one to three seconds pause after getting asked a question Take one to three seconds after that's a pause. One to three seconds pause after getting asked a question. Yeah. Because you could have you could be having an answer already. But um the way you answer the question it's not good or better so it's good to pause to compose yourself and answer the question answer the question uh, that that gives that gives you the boldness the boldness to answer the question after the pause you know it gives you the boldness you answer the question while you are bold enough to answer it because it might not be the only question maybe it's a few of them listed somewhere else for you to answer so it even gives you time to think well before you answer the damn question so um, number 10 work out at least four times a week ah, exercise is better exercise is good for our body exercise is good very 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 damn good for our body that makes the heart to not that makes you not to have an to have a heart attack and it makes the blood flow to the body at least good hmm? so work out at least four times a week hmm? <laughs> dress well number 11 dress well no matter what the occasion 
and uh, yeah you have to dress well no matter what the occasion you have to dress well no matter the occasion why will you just dress anyhow no it doesn't make sense even no 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 you have to dress well before going to any occasion okay rule number 12 if you are not invited don't ask to go <laughs> if you are not if you are not invited don't ask to go yeah you have not to, you have not to ask let them go maybe they have reasons why they didn't want to ask you to go May, may be it may it be wedding may it be any anywhere 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 where you are not in being invited don't ask to go so you have to be yourself and accept the reality and accept the situation so don't ask to go if you are not invited and um Number 13, always carry a cash. Yeah. You have to carry a cash wherever you go because you never know. Maybe, maybe you want something, you needed something, and the thing you needed, the day you needed it, it you didn't find it. And uh, today you carried the cash, you see the thing itself. You have to buy or take the thing with you or uh, something can go amiss you know we make mistakes we are human beings we make real mistakes we make damn mistakes you know so while you maybe you can find yourself you have made a mistake somewhere and the person just goes by you have to pay you have to pay no matter what you have to pay and then you have to pay it you have you have to pay it so always carry cash wherever you go and um, everything goes fine so wherever you go don't just go anyhow you have to carry something with you and that something is cash cash real cash and good money so that's rule number 13 always always carry cash yeah i'm slabbing a little bit but that is it don't worry okay rule number 14 rule number 14 uh learn a high income skill hmm? learn a high income skill so the skill will help you even if you are employed you have the skill you can do it yourself and uh, that helps even to boost your income you see so learn to have a skill that make an income in your life because the the jobs you are being employed anytime any day you can with <laughs> with something can go amiss and you find yourself you are be maybe you have been sacked maybe the job something went wrong and the job just got finished like that like that so uh, learn a high income skill okay that makes you to to earn even more so number 14 learn a high income skill so number 15 listen nod and most of all make eye contact yeah that's good that's when you see when somebody is serious while asking a question or while talking to you or he or she is joking about or around so you have to make an eye contact to understand better and to to communicate well so that is rule number 15 listen nod and most of all make an eye contact with the person 
you are talking to or with and uh, rule number 16 and the last one for us today is learn to say no this is the most important one learn how to say no no matter what you just don't go and impress somebody with yes no if you see something this is wrong it's wrong say no to it and no it will be no and whatever you have to say yes it is yes you don't have to go and be impressing people because you don't want to say no to them no if the place is to say no or something is for no it's for no and it's a no for real so no matter what no matter wherever or anything that you have to go with a no just learn how to say no don't impress somebody by saying yes and then you fail them if it's a no it's a no let them feel bad but it's good for you to tell them no because it's a no and yes because it's a yes so our 16 our rule number 16 is learn how to say no don't go impressing people by yes 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 or and the things that you will not fulfill so that's our last rule learn how to say no <laughs> learn how to say no so that was some 16 rules for us in life it's for our for mostly for ladies but for men's too it works so thank you all for being here with me thank you for turning back thank you thank you thank you so much for coming and supporting me let us see each other in another video and god will bless you thank you so much bye i love you all